Ready for a quick, intense workout challenge? Welcome to the world of high height or high intensity interval training. This video will guide you through a pulse racing, sweat inducing five minute workout challenge that can be done anytime, anywhere. No fancy equipment, no gym membership, just you and your determination. Perfect for those squeezed for time, yet unwilling to compromise on their health. So are you ready to push your limits? Boost your heart rate and burn calories in just five minutes. Get ready to sweat. Before we start, remember to always warm up. Begin with light jogging on the spot. This gets your heart rate up and preps your lower body for the workout. Next, transition into jumping jacks. These full body exercises engage your core and improve your cardiovascular fitness. Finally, perform arm circles to loosen up the shoulder joints and prepare your upper body. Each exercise should be done for about 20 seconds. Now that your muscles are warmed up, brace yourself for the challenge ahead. Scene script. First up, burpees. Are you ready to elevate your heart rate? Good. Let's dive into burpees, the ultimate full body exercise. Stand tall, your feet shoulder width apart. Now lower your body into a squat. As you reach the ground, kick your feet back into a plank position while keeping your hands on the ground. Next, pull your feet back in, returning to a squat. Stand up, jump high, and clap your hands above your head. That's one burpee. Now, it's time to make it count. Set your timer and get ready to do as many burpees as you can for 30 seconds. Remember, this is high intensity interval training. Push yourself. Once your 30 seconds are up, take a breather. 10 seconds to catch your breath, shake out your limbs, and prepare to go again. Deep breaths. You're doing great. Prepare for the next one. Next, mountain climbers. This exercise is all about speed and agility, targeting your core, quads and shoulders. Here's how you do it. Start in a plank position, hands planted directly under your shoulders, body straight from head to heels. Now, pull your right knee into your chest as far as you can. Then switch, pulling that knee out and bringing the other knee in. It's like running on the spot in a plank position. Okay, let's get to it. I want you to do as many mountain climbers as you can in 30 seconds. Don't worry about the count, just focus on the movement. Ready? Go. Now take a breather. You've earned it. Rest for 10 seconds. Catch your breath. All right, it's time to repeat. Another round of mountain climbers for 30 seconds. You're doing great. Keep it up. Push through the burn. Stay strong. You're halfway there. Prepare for the final exercise. Last one, jumping jacks. Now. Let's get into this fun and invigorating exercise. Jumping jacks might take you back to your school days, but they're not just child's play. They're a full body workout, engaging your legs, core and upper body all at once. Here's how to do them. Stand tall with your feet together and your hands at your sides. Then jump up, spreading your feet wide and circling your arms overhead. Jump again to return to your starting position. That's one rep. Now it's time to give it your all. Your goal is to do as many jumping jacks as you can in 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Push yourself. You can do it. And stop. Take a breather for 10 seconds. Catch your breath. All right, let's do it again. Another 30 seconds of jumping jacks. You've done it. You've made it through the workout, but don't stop just yet. Now, time for a cool down. As you catch your breath, let's transition into a series of stretches to help your body recover and relax. Cooling down is an essential part of any workout and it's often overlooked. But why is it so important, you ask? Well, cooling down helps to gradually decrease your heart rate and blood pressure. It also aids in preventing stiffness and soreness by reducing lactic acid buildup in your muscles. So, without further ado, let's begin. First, let's go for a nice, gentle neck stretch. Tilt your head to one side, hold for a few seconds, then switch to the other side. Feel the tension melting away from your neck and shoulders. Next, extend your arm across your chest and gently pull it closer to your body with your other hand. This stretch targets your shoulder muscles, which have worked hard during those intense intervals. Now, let's give some love to our legs. Stand tall and grab your foot behind you, pulling it towards your glutes. This stretch is excellent for your quadriceps, the muscles at the front of your thighs. Finally, let's not forget about our backs. Stand up straight, interlock your fingers and stretch your arms out in front of you. Round your back and feel a gentle stretch along your spine. Spend a good 20 to 30 seconds on each stretch and remember to breathe deeply. Inhale and exhale as you ease into each movement.
This is your moment of quiet after the storm, a moment to appreciate your body's hard work and resilience. In conclusion, it's not just about the intensity of the workout, but also the recovery. Your body needs this time to heal and grow stronger. And remember, every time you show up, you're making progress. Congratulations on completing the height challenge. Remember, consistency is key. Keep pushing yourself. Until next time, stay fit and stay healthy.